Milton Friedman has told us why the government's role in our lives should be limited. But how limited? Let's ask him about the structure of the federal government itself. I have a list here of the 14 cabinet departments. Now, 14 is a lot for television, so I want to just go right down the list quickly and have you give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. Keep sure. them or abolish them. Department of Agriculture. Abolish. Gone. Oh, Department of Commerce. Abolish. Gone. Department of Defense. Keep. Keep it. Department of Education. Abolish. Gone. Energy. Abolish. How Except that energy ties in with the military. Well, then we shove it under defense. That's the little right. bit that handles the nuclear, right, that uh, ought to go under plutonium defense. and so forth goes under defense. But we abolish the rest of it. Health and human services. There is some. There are. There is room for some public health activities to prevent uh, 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 contagion. Uh, such a thing as, for example. So you uh, keep the National Institutes of Health, say, and no, the Center no, for Disease no, Control. No, 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 not the Atlanta. National Institutes. Oh, no, those are mostly a research agencies. No, no, that's a question of whether the government should be involved in financing research. And the answer is no. Well, that's a complicated, that's a very complicated issue, and it's not an easy answer with respect to that. We'll eliminate half of the Department of Health yeah, and Human Services? Like okay, one half. There we go. Housing and urban development? Out. Oh, didn't even pause over that one. Department of the Interior? Oh, well, but housing and urban development has done an enormous amount of harm. My God! If you think of the way in which they've destroyed uh, parts of cities, under the rubric of, of eliminating slums. Uh, Jack Kent You know, you, you remember that Martin Anderson wrote a book on the federal bulldozer describing the effect of the urban development. There have been many more dwelling units torn down in the, in the, in the name of public housing that have been built. Jack Kemp has proposed selling to the current inhabitants of public housing their unit, their townhouse, their apartment, for a dollar apiece, and just shifting the ownership to and the getting, people who live in If you got rid of the uh, Department of Housing and Urban Development, it would be worth doing that. All right, done. That's gone. Department of the Interior, your beloved National uh, Park Service. Well, given that the problem there is, you first have to sell off all the land that the government owns. But that's what you should do. You but it should could be done pretty quickly. It could be done. The whole, the you should, you should do that. There's no reason for the right. government to own. The government now owns something like one-third of all the land in the country. And that's too much. Should go uh, down to zero. Should go down to, well, not entirely zero. They ought to own the land on which government buildings are. <laughs> okay, terrific. Department of Justice. Oh, yes. Keep that one. Keep that one. Labor. No. Gone. State. Keep. Keep it. Transportation. Gone. Gone. The Treasury? You have to keep it to collect taxes. All right. Collect taxes through the Treasury. Veterans Affairs? You can regard the Veteran Affairs as a way of, of, of paying, essentially, salaries for services of those who have been in the armed force. But you ought to be able to get rid of it. You by, should be pay, able to by, 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 pay it off. Pay it off. Pay off lump sums, perhaps. That's right. And just get rid of it. Okay. Milton Friedman. If you are made dictator for one day, the next day the no, American I government... No, no, I don't no. want to be made dictator. You wouldn't. I don't believe in dictators. Okay. I believe we want to bring about change by the, by the agreement the for the citizens. I don't, I don't believe in arbitrary rules. Well, let me put it this way, then. If your, I your can't proposal. persuade, if we can't persuade the public that it's desirable to do these things, we have no right to impose them, even if we had the power to do it. All right. From 14 departments down to, to four, four basic and a half, fundamental and functions. And what are its fundamental functions? A pre uh, a preserve the peace, defend the country, All right. provide a mechanism whereby individuals can adjudicate their disputes. That's the Justice, Justice Department. Department. Uh, protect individuals from being uh, coerced by other individuals. The police function. Right. And now, this is both the central government and the state and local governments. The police function is primarily local and central. Right. And those are the fundamental functions of government, in my opinion. Milton Friedman, thank you very much. Dr. Friedman believes in limited government, very limited government. If I understand his principles correctly, he'd say that the choice whether to wear a motorcycle helmet shouldn't be between me and the state government in Sacramento, but between me and, if anyone, my insurance company. Better keep those premiums down. I'm Peter Robinson. Thanks for joining us.
For more information, visit our home pages at www-hoover.stanford.edu or kteh.org. Funding for this program was provided by the Star Foundation and Ann and Peyton Lake. For a VHS videotape of this program, you may call toll-free 1-800-935-2882.